How's it going guys? This is Ty, and I am here with this guy. Introduce yourself. I'm Jesse you? Black. I'm his best friend, actually. That's my best friend yeah. in the whole world. So you're going to see a lot of really beautiful chemistry, and uh, recently I've kind of started getting this guy into vaping. He doesn't own a vaporizer, but uh, he's definitely quick to grab for mine <laughs> whenever we hang out. And uh, he's a smart dude, so hopefully he'll provide some value, valuable, there we go, insight about uh, the flavor we're going to be talking about today. I think I'm actually going to be filming two reviews. I'll put them up separately. But the first one we're going to do is another product I picked up at um, ECC this past weekend. And it's a flavor from Caterpillar E-Juice. And it's called, let's find it, there we go, Mad H. Now, when I talked, and I'll actually, just real quick, I'm going to cut to a little clip about the company that I filmed at ECC. So go ahead and check that out. All right, we're here with Kayla from Caterpillar E-Juice, and she's just gonna talk about the company for a bit. Hi, Kayla. Hey guys, uh, hi, how are you? Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the company. Um, we're called Caterpillar E-Juice, and we started about a year and a half ago. Um, our first sale was a year ago in Vapor Labs, and since then we've grown exponentially. Uh, we have about 60 shops, we're in six states, and um, we're expanding day by day even more. Um, we are 100% VG, uh, based out of Anaheim, so the vapor production is intense. Um, and what else? I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, we're made by a chemical engineer from Cal Poly Pomona. Um, I handle all of the sales, he does all the juice making, and um, we love our fans, and we just appreciate all our support. Awesome, thank you very much, Kevin. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, when I talked to that lady at the stand, um, I was asking her about what this flavor is, because <clears throat> they had a little display that listed all their flavors, and underneath, a little sentence describing what the flavor is, talking about it, and under this one, uh, as far as I remember, it said something like, all day vape, just try it. Uh, so that kind of got me interested and then they told me that this is actually their highest seller. Now I did a little research online and from what I can find it's actually supposed to be a watermelon and strawberry flavor with a special ingredient, quote unquote. So that could be totally wrong, I don't know. Either way, we're gonna vape it, give it a try and talk about it a little bit. So I've already dripped some here, I'm gonna let Jesse give it a shot. It has a hint of vanilla, right? What I like about this is that the vanilla isn't too strong. On another flavor that you gave me, it was just so intense, the vanilla flavor. And you said it kind of tasted like candles, which I agreed with. But this, the I like how the, I'm not a big fan of vanilla, but I like how the vanilla flavor is very, um, it's very mellow, it's very small. And well, I don't, I don't know if there's actually any vanilla in here, but I can see. What were the two ingredients? Well, it said it's, it's uh, and again, this is hearsay. I saw it on a forum or something. It's. Uh, watermelon, strawberry, and a special secret oh. ingredient. I don't know, but I do get a kind of um, sweetness that's not it's not quite tart. fruity. It's not, it's not tart. tart. Yeah, it has a sort of say, yeah. uh, creamy edge that kind of uh, doles that top note of the of the strawberry, but not in a way that that mutes the flavor. It just kind of uh, evens it out. Um, I would say the vanilla flavor. I mean the. Um, uh, watermelon flavor is a little more prominent than the strawberry flavor in this juice. For sure, but the strawberry adds a nice tartness. So you've got the, if if anyone watching is a musician, you've got the high end with the strawberry, nice even mid range with the watermelon, and then this kind of creamy sweet undertone, just giving it that nice bassy. Overall, though, like when I first tried it, I did not even know what I was tasting. I didn't even know, like I couldn't pick out the actual. And flavors. I and I think uh, I think Caterpillar uh, E Juice likes keeping it that way. It their, their juice tastes good. And they don't really want you to know what they're trying. <laughs> they, they, they told me that um, they were telling people at first what the flavor was supposed to be, and people were telling them that it tastes nothing like that. So I don't know if it is, again, the strawberry and watermelon, but either way, regardless of whatever they're trying to get across with this flavor, I enjoyed it a lot. Jesse, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I enjoyed it quite well. Let me taste it first before I can get my thoughts. Thoughts are it's good. 
It's a good. It's a good. <laughs> it's it's um the, the I think they said it's an all day vape because nothing is overpowering, nothing's overwhelming. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of like when you get like a pack of Starburst or like some type of candy and there's a mystery flavor and it's just kind of good. There's something fruity about it. There's something that it's mellow all, all around. That, it's just that's what I was about to say. Mellow. It's mellow, but it's not too um understated to be uh something you're vaping in the middle of the day. It's not too intense for when you just wake up and it's not, uh, you know, too over the top for when you cool off at night and you just want a nice mellow flavor to vape on, but something that still kind of titillates your taste buds. Definitely like the watermelon though. Like thumbs I, up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for the, for the mad H. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about another e-liquid now. So let's go on over to the next video. I'll see you then. In the meantime, Ty, Jesse, Take it easy, vapors.